I would like to talk to you about new legislation and new name change for Reba, which is a real estate business broker act. It is changed to trust real estate services act. This legislation brings a lot of very important changes of how we're going to trade real estate and how we will be getting into the relationship with our clients. I'm going to have a four videos that will describe each uh, part that is changing. Today, I'm going to talk about relationship between buyers and uh, real estate agents when you're going and you're buying the house. The biggest change in this part one that I want to cover is that relationship between agent and the public right now reduced to two options. You can be our client or you can be self-represented. If you're self-represented, I cannot work with you and show you homes. If you want my help, you have to sign with me a buyer representation agreement and it's no other way it can be happening. So be careful when you're signing any agreement, please take your time and read it. I hear too many times from people that they do not read the agreement. The most important part of buyer representation agreement, on the second page, you have a commission that paid to the agent. Please make sure that you have a little line there that says, as per MLS. So the commission, do not put the exact commission figure. Uh, it is a place where you can put exact commission figure and then it says word or, and then you can put anything else. With today's very dynamic market, you should protect yourself and put as per MLS listing. When you putting this few words in, you are limiting the commission to the number that paid on MLS. And right now it's sometime 2%, sometime 2.5% and a sometime 1.85% if it is a government relocation, they also right now pay 1.5%. So if you signed for 2.5%, not as I told you, as per MLS listing, but you sign for 2.5% and you're buying the house where it says that it's going to be paid 1.5%, you will have to take a 1% out of your pocket and pay to a real estate agent. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to buy this house or real estate agent very easily going to be able to take you to the court and you would have to pay them this uh, amount. So this another percent. So please to avoid any misunderstanding, make sure that on a second page of a buyer representation agreement, it says as per MLS listing. I want to talk to you about a lot of agents that giving you a 30% off from the commission. Make sure that it says as per MLS listing plus 30% commission. Understand that if those people are going to write that their commission is going to be 2.5% plus bonus of 30% to you and somebody will pay 1.5%, you might still have to pay to the agents some money that were not enough, 2.5% minus 30%. I hope that I clearly identified for you that the relationship right now, instead of three different relationships right now, it's two very clear relationships between the agent and the public you're going to become our client or you're self-represented. And guys, if you're self-represented, I cannot talk to you unless it is my listing. If it is my listing, I provide service to my seller. And this way I can at least 
talk to you and show you the house. If you have any questions about these changes, please call me and I'm going to try to describe it to you as much as possible. In the description, I'm also going to give you the links to Real Estate Council of Ontario, where it is much more information about that. I just wanted to make sure that in a very plain language, I describe you what's happening and the change is coming from December 1st. We're waiting for all the forms because or the most important form that we will be signing you that we told you about that that uh, from real estate council of ontario we will be sending you a link where you click on the link and you know that you received all the information and you right now notified about all these changes alvina asher your ottawa real estate expert